All right, let's talk about Komi. The acquisition is on the previous video. Let's go with the abilities. Every 50 seconds, one of Komi's weapons will inflict a random status effect. The effect lasts for 60 seconds. That means one of your weapons will be buffed. You can see the icon on the left side of the, the dices, and that shows what weapon is being buffed. Right now, it is my secondary. There is a ladder there, and it is applying random status effects or has a chance so here what do i have well it hasn't hasn't applied anything extra yet uh okay it might be bugged with the wrong showing the wrong the, the icon for the wrong weapon now we got it that is cold and toxin, which shouldn't be applied by my weapon. Corrosive, also applied because of the passive. Now, for the other Komi's abilities, they're heavily uh, affected by the dice. Every time you use an ability, the dice will be rolled, and they will somehow buff your ability. If you get a triple six roll, then it's going to be the maximum effect that it can apply to an ability and that's gonna lead to a bonus of sorts first ability you throw a orb that will pretty much make these lines or kind of a web anyways that touches these webs they're gonna be affected by random status effects if you get a triple six roll they're gonna be affected by all status effects second ability gives you a mission or a a challenge that when completed will give you a random decree the cooldown increases every time you get one if you get a triple six roll there will be no challenge you will just get the the decree and you can cancel it by holding the key third ability omamori this is the subsumable you will get some random some am uh, amulets yeah amulets the surrounding you and every time you take damage there is a chance that instead of taking that damage that is gonna instead heal you if it's on your health if you have missing health will heal you health is full goes to shields shields are full goes to over shields triple roll triple six roll will make you invulnerable for the duration as for fourth ability born raku it's gonna transform the enemies into kind of a puppets or marionettes something like that and apply status effects to them they're gonna be there for 20 seconds base and you can further recast this to apply even more status and kill enemies so that's it for the abilities for the builds i don't have a proper build for you for this i got what i think it's base and the rest you can just make it up for yourself because this thing is weird this is really weird it's definitely a frame build for the starters this thing will work just fine with little to no stuff added that's the best i can put it why is it weird your second and third ability are affected to little to nothing Omamori is affected by strength and efficiency. Omikuji is only by efficiency. So, yeah. I mean, Omamori, the heal, heal, heal multiplier. Oh my god, today is hard. Heal multiplier will be increased, meaning that that damage that it would take that in, instead turns into heal will be amplified. But that is... Eh? Kumihimo and Bunraku are affected by everything but only Bunraku, only it's the one that reels, it really deals some more damage. But if you add range, you're gonna F up Kumihimo. Yeah. You know this thing that, that bounces around? If you put a lot of range, it will just create the, the webs far from you. And there's a limit on the webs. So close to where you cast it, it's going to have nothing. And that's why uh, range ruins it. But then you're, you kind of want range for Boomraku because you want to apply status effects to 
as many enemies as you can, as further away as you can. Which, I mean, it, it would be ideal, but then, yeah, that's kind of effed. So, the, you might end up needing a good investment to make Bunraku to actually deal damage. And uh, you're going to be building for on, only one ability, really. And that's what makes it weird. I'm going to show you what I think is the minimum for this thing to work. With this, you got a pretty solid base. Arc and Continuity will allow your Toxin status effects to also apply Corrosive, which is always a, applying Corrosive is a damage bonus. Rolling Guard will pretty much combo with your Omomori, which will already keep you on your feet very decently. Prime Flow, extra energy is always good. Arc and Stretch, we will be proccing this because your fourth, first ability and your fourth ability, they're just going to apply that... Uh, Electricity eventually, and you'll get this thing going. Getting that energy back, pretty good. Brief respite, I put a Aura Forma on her, because this just allows you to survive even more. Further adding an Arcan Aegis can boost your survivability by a lot. Because when you, your shields go down, if you take a hit and Omamori procs, you're going to be getting your shields back. And then there is another chance to proc in ages and also your shield gate is back that's kind of how it goes this will allow you to survive pretty easily this is what i've used for leveling i ran the sanctuary onslaught had didn't had a lot of problems it was pretty good but if i wanted to kill with omamori with uh, with bonraku i would probably add in roar and yeah Remember what I talked about, uh, what's the called? Kumihimo? That's it. I have a range, uh, I think uh, maybe a lot of range, so... The lines, or the webs below, they're just gone. And that's just what happens. They're there, not here, where I needed them. So that is effed up. Now we can... Cast Bunraku a couple times, get everyone primed, and then, because they have so many status effects, this thing will keep going and going and going, and eventually they will die. I think I might have missed uh, the triple six uh, dices for Bunraku. It applies the effects be also behind you. So it's, yeah, kind of like that. Eventually, enemies will die. That is how it goes. Komei feels like... feels weird, but she's... feels like the frame built for endurance, because eventually you'll get a lot of decrees, and decrees just make you OP. If you ever spent a couple hours inside Duviri just getting more and more decrees, you know that things just get crazy after some time. Getting the right decrees will just make your frame insane completely, unbelievable strong and that's how it goes you can make this frame into something absolutely crazy you could even try to make a tank build for this uh, even even towards the health tanking because she'll get uh conditional hear me out conditional armor conditional 3k armor if you have like every decree for armor and yeah but the damage this thing will be able to pull out if you keep doing the challenges and getting decrees is just going to be unbelievable. Definitely, Bonraku would be killing uh, very, very high levels. And your weapons would be obliterating everything. Definitely a uh, frame suitable for a weapon platform. Also because uh, her abilities can prime, so that is also an extra. And even further nuking with sentinels and uh, companions. That's what I think. That's it what I have to show you and talk about Komi for now. Leave it a like, subscribe, and peace. Till next time.